Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to be doing the practice chapter six, practice test, and let's begin. Okay, so the first question, Kitsali, Andrea, and Madeline are collecting antique dolls. That means old dolls, you know, very old. Kitsali collected 37 dolls. Andrea collected 13 less antique dolls than Kitsali. Madeline collected 24 more antique dolls than Andrea. How many dolls did Madeline collect? So the first thing is we we need to find out what is what is it that they want us to figure out? What is what do we have to find out? So the question is also always asking what you need to find out, what what we need to solve. How many dolls did Madeline collect? Okay. So let's look at our first clue. We know that it's Kitsali, Andrea, and Madeline. So I know I'm going to have three kit, three people. So this is uh, Kitsali. And I know that Kitsali collected 37 dolls. So I'm going to put 37. That's the information I have. It's right here. She had She collected 37 dolls. Then my next person, it's Andrea. Let me just, and then I'm going to say Andrea. And Andrea says, Andrea collected 13 less antique dogs than Kitsali. So if it's 13 less, I know it's take away 13. And then it says, then Kitsali. So I have to look at Kitsali's information because it's asking me, I have to, from her, from Kitsali, I have to take away 13. So I know that Kitsali was 37, so I'm going to put 37 here. And it's 13 less from Kitsali, so I have to put Kitsali's first and then take away 13. So that would be step number one. So I already know I have to do this step first. So I'm going to have 37. So I'm going to go 10, 20, 30, and then seven ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And now I'm going to take away 13. So I look, I look at my number 13, T-O, and I have three ones to take away. And I look at my ones, and I do have enough, so I'm going to cross out three. One, two, and three. And then I I have 110 to take away. So let me take away 110. So now I know that for Andrea, I have, I'm going to put T-O. And then I have one, two, three, four ones. And one, two, tens, two tens. So Andrea has 24. So now I know that I have to do another another one. I'm going to change the name. And now it's going to be Madeline. Okay. So I know that Madeline, according to the information, ha collected, collected 24 more than Andrea. So again, I need Andrea's information. See, because Andrea's here. So uh, uh, Madeline collected 24 more. So I go more means plus, plus 24. So that's what and Andrea, Madeline has 24 more than Andrea. So I know that I have to put Andrea's information also with Madeline. So in Andrea, I know that she collected 24. So I'm going to put 24. So now my final step, let me erase this part so I can do my next picture. I have 24 plus 24. So I'm going to draw my picture. 24 has two tens and four ones. And then I have to draw a one to separate because I'm adding 
and I want to have enough space to draw my next group. And I have, again, two tens, and then four more ones. So now I look at my picture and I, I see the ones. Let me put my TO here. TO. Now, do I have enough ones to make a 10? Well, I don't because can I make a 10? Absolutely not. Four plus four is not a 10, it's eight. So I just put eight in the ones place. And then I look at my my tenths, and I don't have enough to make ten tenths because I only have two in the top and two in the bottom, so that makes four. So now I know that Madeline has forty eight dolls. So after I figure out on my on my whiteboard or scratch paper, I know that forty eight is my answer. So I look at my answers, and I know that B is the choice. Okay, next question. On Saturday, the bakery sold 567 bagels and 243 muffins. Which number sentence can be used to find out how many more bagels were sold than muffins? So we want to we want to see we want to find a sentence uh, to figure out how many more bagels how many more bagels than muffins were sold so uh when it when you see the words how many more and then you look at this information bagels so let's look at the bagels 567 how many more bagels than, if you see the word than, the word than, you're, you're comparing it to that number, to that number that represents the muffins. So how many more than means take away. So that's a key word that how many more are here than here. So then, so I look at the muffins number. I look at my muffins, it's 243. Now they're not asking me to solve the, the, you know, the answer. I don't have to do the math. It just says uh, which number sentence can I use to find out. So if I if I needed to solve this problem, this would be the number sentence because they're asking how many more bagels, and these are the bagels were sold than muffins. So we sold more bagels than muffins. So we want to find the difference. So in this case, I look at this one, it has blank plus 567. Well, I already know that it's not a plus because I'm, I'm having takeaway. So A, the first choice is not, is not a good choice. 567 plus 243 is also not a good choice because as you see, how many more than means to subtract. So I already know that's not a good choice. And then we have 567 takeaway. 243 that looks like mine so i'm going to put a check mark because that's a maybe now 243 take away 567 well i already know this one is wrong because we always have the largest number first and then we take away a smaller number so this is not true that's that's the the wrong order so my best choice was option three Okay, next question. Inside the piñata, there are 624 hard candies and chocolates. Now, I want you to pay attention to this part. Inside the piñata, let's say that this is the piñata. An ugly piñata. Now, inside the piñata, there's 600, 624 candies candies and chocolates so we're going to put c for candies and ch for chocolates 
So they're all there together. They make 624. Now, it says that there are 316 chocolates. So 316, we know, are chocolates. So we know that 316 are chocolates right here. So I, I, we want to find out how many are hard candy. So we basically have right here the big part, you know, we have part, part, and whole. So we know the whole thing in the piñata, the whole thing is 624. That's the whole thing. Now, the chocolates, I'm going to put CH. We know that the chocolates, we have 316. So we want to know the difference of right here, what is, how many candies, hard candies are there. So because I already have the whole thing, I know I'm not going to add. I need to subtract. I need to find the difference. So I have 600. 24, and I take away what I already know, that I already know there's three, six, 316 chocolates in there. In the piñata, there's already 316 chocolates. So I want to take away the chocolates to find out the number of the hard candy. So now I'm going to draw my picture. Now when I subtract, I always draw the number, the whole amount, the biggest number. So I know I have HTO, and I'm going to draw 600s. That's 100, 200s, 300s, 400s, 500s, and 600. Okay? And then two tens, only two tens right there, and then four ones. So four circles, one, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to look at the number that I'm going to subtract so that I can find out how many hard candies they are. So I'm going to do a HTO, and I'm going to start with the ones because I have to start with the ones because I might have to regroup if I don't have enough ones to take away. Like in this case, I only have four and I need to take away six. Well, I don't have enough. So then I need to take away this 10 and regroup it into the ones. Now, because this is a 10, I need to draw 10 ones. It has to be equal amount, same amount. So I'm gonna draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 because I'm moving a 10 so I have to have the same amount which is 10 ones so now I am able to take away six ones I'm going to start with my lonely ones right here one that's one two three four five and six okay so I'm done taking away the six ones so um, now I'm going to take away one ten. Oh, I do have one ten, so I'm going to just take it up. Boom, boom, boom. That's good. That's done. So now I go to the hundreds, and I need to take away three hundreds. So that's one, two, and three hundreds. So now I look at my picture, and I write HTO. I always like to write my HTO so that I can see what goes where. So in the ones place, I see that I have eight ones. So I'm going to put eight ones. Now in the tens place, I have zero. There's nothing left. So I'm going to put a zero. And then in the hundreds place, I have three hundreds. So I'm going to put three hundreds. So my answer is 308. So I go to my, ans uh, to my choices. And the best choice is... 308, which is letter C, and that's the one I mark. Okay, question number four. Find the difference and enter the response in the box. Okay, now find the difference. Difference means that you're taking away, and it's already here. It tells you what to do. So when we're finding the difference, we're going to look at 804, 
804 because that's how much you have. <coughs> and that's the picture you're going to draw. Then we'll take away the bottom number. So I'm put a, I'm going to put HTO and I'm going to draw eight hundredths. That's four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then I have zero tenths, but I'm going to leave a space because I might have to regroup. And then I have four ones. One, two, three, and four. So now I have my picture. That's 804. That means eight hundredths, no tens, and four ones. Now I have to look at the bottom number, and I know I need to take away, I'm going to put HD on the bottom too. I have space. So I go to the ones place. You know, we always want to start in the ones place because we might have to regroup. And I have to take away eight, but I only have four. So I have, I have to go next door to the tenths place, but I have nothing there. So I have to go to the hundreds place and take away one. I'm, well, I'm not really taking it away. I'm actually regrouping. So I need, I need some so that I can borrow for the ones too. So if I, this is 100, I have to draw the same amount, which will be 100, but they have to look like tens. So I go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that's my 10 tenths. It makes 100. So now I'm able to regroup one of the tenths to the ones place because remember I needed to take away eight and I didn't have enough. So now I do. I'm able to regroup. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because I'm regrouping a 10, I have to draw 10 ones. So now I'm able to take away the eight ones. Let me start with my lonely ones right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I took away eight. Now I need to take away six tenths. So I'm going to go. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, and six tens. Okay, so this one is done. And now I have to take away three hundreds. So I'm going to go one hundred, two hundred, and three hundred. So now I write my HTO, of course. I always like to draw the HTO to keep me focused. So on the O, I know it's the one. So I'm going to go to the ones and I go one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six ones. And then I go to the tens and I have one, two, three left. So three tens. And then I look at my hundreds and I have one, two, three, and four. And that's four hundreds. So my answer is 436. That's what I would put on my test. Okay, this one is, uh, there's three, 264 large kites and 173 small kites at the competition. How many kites were at the competition? Now, they want us to show it in expanded form, which we can, and I will show it, but we can also do the picture. So when I do when this the standard form is already here, I look at my ones first. Four plus three equals seven. Then I have uh, sixty plus seventy. So I'm going to start with seventy, and then I'm going to count by tens. Six six more tens. So seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred, a hundred ten, a hundred twenty, a hundred thirty. So I would put plus 
plus. Now I have 200 plus one more hundred. That's 300. But I want to have all the hundreds together and then just tens here and then just ones here. So I'm going to break apart the 130 and I'm going to put 100 because there's 100 there. See, this is the H. And then we, I'm going to put 30 right here. So one, 300 plus one more hundred is 400. And then we have the 30. And then we have the seven. So I have 437. So that will be my answer in expanded form. Now, remember, I can draw a picture as well. So I'm going to look at this number and draw a picture. Now, because we're adding, we have to draw both numbers. So the first number has 200, two hundreds. Six tenths, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to do one here, six, and then four ones, one, two, three, and four. Now, remember, guys, I always like to draw my line to separate because I don't want them to be um, too close together because I might get them all tangled. That means in the same group. And I might not know what which one is which. So my next one is 100. So I put 100. 7 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, and 7. And then three ones. 1, 2, 3. So now I look at my picture and I, 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 I look at my wants and I ask the million dollar question, can I make a 10? Well, I have four and three more. That would be, let me write HTO. Remember, I like to keep organized. Now in my wants, I only have seven wants. So I don't, I cannot make a 10. So I put seven. Now then I look at my tens. And I am able to make 10 tens because I have seven here and I have six here. Now, I can make either one. I can put four tens, move four from here and, and move them up here. Or I can move three to the bottom part. So I like to do the one that I'm always, I'm almost, you know, I'm so close. Like I only need three on the bottom. So I'm going to cross three from the top, three tens. And I'm not taking them away. I'm moving them right here. So I have to draw the three the three tenths that I took out from the top. I have to exactly three. So now I have one ten, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths. So now I have my ten. Remember, when you have ten is the magic number. You can move on to the next category. So if I count... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That means that I can box this, box it, cross it, and regroup it into the hundreds place. So I can make a box of 100. So now I look at how many tens I have left, and there's only three. And then I look at uh, how many hundreds. And remember, I had three, but I added one more when I regrouped. So that's four. So my answer is 437, just like I, like on the expanded form. Now, you can do whichever strategy is easier for you. Okay, question number six. Now remember, this is the right. This is what Riley did to do her number, her number uh, sentence. Now uh, Riley has five hundred thirty-eight plus two hundred fifty-four. So Riley 
what Riley did, the strategy that, he, that Riley used, um, Riley added the 500 plus 200, and 500 and 200 is 700 right here. And then Riley went to the tens place. So this is three tens is the same as 30. Five tens is the same as 50. So 50 plus 30 is 80, which is right here. And then eight ones plus four ones is 12. So this is the 12. Now, what is important here is to keep all the ones in the, in the same row, all the tens in the same row, and then the hundreds, which is only the, that 700. And then she added them together. Now, you can do the Riley's format or you can draw a picture. I think I would rather draw a picture so I don't make any mistakes. So I'm, this is the bottom one is the one that we're going to do. This one is Riley. Remember, that's Riley already worked it out. So I'm going to put HTO. Now, I already know that I'm adding. And when I add, I have to add, I have to draw this, the picture on top. And I also have to draw the picture on the bottom because I'm putting them together. I'm not taking away. I'm putting them together. So my first picture has four hundreds. I'm going to draw four hundreds. One, two, three, and four. And it has six tens. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six, and then five ones. One, two, three, four, five. And then I have to separate. Remember, we want to keep them apart because we don't want them to get all tangled. Um, my second number, I have to draw two hundreds. I'm going to draw two hundreds. One and two. And then I have two tens. So I'm going to draw one, two. And then eight ones. So I'm going to draw eight circles. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, and eight. So now I look at my picture, and of course, you already know what I'm going to say, right? Can I make a 10? So I look at my ones, and can I make a 10? Yes, I can. Now, I look at the one that has the most. Right here on the bottom, I have eight. So I, by looking at my picture, I need I need one and two. So I need, I need one here and one here, right? So I'm going to get those two from the top. That means I'm going to regroup two, move them to the bottom to make my 10. One, two. So now once I make my 10, you know that I cannot leave them like this. I know that I have 10, so I box it cross it, and I regroup it in to make it look like a 10 now. It has to look like a 10. So now I look at my 10s and I go, that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't have 10 10s, so I'm good. So I, I look at my 100s and I don't have 10, 10 hundreds, so I'm good. So now I do my HTO. Remember, the HTO helps me keep organized. Now I go to the O, which is the ones, and I have three ones. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tenths. So I put nine in the tenths place. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six hundreds. So I put six hundreds. So this would be my answer that goes on the text to have it correct. Okay, question number seven. At the toy store, there are 563 action figures and board games. Remember, guys, what, look at the picture. This is the uh, toy store. In there, there's 563 all together. Like in this store, we have board games and we have action figures. So I'm going to put action figures, A, F, for action figures, and then board games, B, G, for board games. So all of these are here, and together they make 563. 
Now it says there are 187 board games. So I already know that there's 187 board games. So out of the eight, 563, 187 are the board games. So now it says, how many action figures are there? So we want to find out, this is what they want us to solve. How many action figures are there? So basically we have part, part, whole. Okay. Now this is action figures, which we don't know the answer to. We're going to find it. And this is board games, BG. And we know we have 187. Now, all together at the whole store with action figures and board games, we know we have 563. So now to solve for the action figures, I cannot add because this is already the 187. It's already in there. So that's part of that number. So what I have to do is I have to find the difference, which means I take away. And I always start with the whole thing, which is the biggest number, 563. Take away what I have, the board games. I can take away the board games to find out how many are left and whatever's left will be the action figures. So now I have to draw the first number only because I'm taking away. I'm not adding those two together. So I'm, I'm going to draw five hundreds. That's 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. And then six ones, I mean six tenths. And then three ones. Okay, so now I have my picture, 563. Now I have to take away 187. So in the number 187, I, I know that I have to draw, I have to put the HTO on the top, HTO. And I, and I know I have to take away that amount, but I, I always start with the, ten, the ones place because remember, I might have to regroup. So I go to the, I have to take away seven ones, but I only have three. That means I don't have enough. That means I go next door to the tens and I cross up one of the tens, but I don't take it out. I regroup it. So if I'm, if I'm moving a 10, I have to draw 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. There. So now I regrouped it. So now I'm able to take away the seven ones. So I'm going to start with the lonely ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I took away the seven ones. Now I go to the tens. I have to take away eight tens. Well, I only have five, which means I'm going to have to regroup. So I'm going to have to regroup this hundred, move it over here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to erase this one because I already regrouped it, so I don't need it there. So now I'm going to regroup the 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And now I can take away 8 tenths. So I'm going to go one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens, eight tens. I, I'm done. So I'm done with the tens. Now I go 100. I have to remove 100. So let's take 100 out. Just boom, out the door. So now I'm going to put my HTO to find the answer. It keeps me organized. So 
I look at my ones and I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, when I have this number right here, see how I drew my picture? I, I always put them in groups of five. I can say five and then one more and six. And then I have uh, my tens and I also put them in groups of five. See, one, two, three, four, five. So I know five and two more is seven, seven tenths. And then I have three hundreds. So my answer is 373 are hard candy. That's what would go right here. I mean, 76, yeah. 376 would be the hard candies. That would be the answer. Okay, so now we have the next problem. Number eight, there were 356 apples in a basket. If 159 apples are taken out, how many apples were left in the basket? Now I can use this picture, this is already there, so I don't have to draw it. And I know it's telling me that I have to take away. So now I have to just look at uh, the number that I'm taking away. Remember, we're gonna start with uh, we're going to start with the nine ones because we have ones, tens, and hundreds, of course. Now that number is really, really small. Let me go, let me do this over here so I can make my bigger number. So I have to take away 159. But I look at my picture and I only have six ones, which is not enough. So I have to regroup one of the tens and put them in the ones place, but they have to look like, like ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So now I'm able to take away the nine ones. I start with my lonely ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then I have to take away five tenths, but I don't have five tenths. I have one, two, three, four. So I have to regroup one of the hundreds and I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, 10 tenths, because that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Remember, I'm regrouping this one. I'm moving in it here. Now I'm able to take away five, five tens. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And then I have to take away 100. So let's take 100 off. So now I put HTO and I look at how many ones I have. So I have five and then two more. So that's seven ones. And then I look at my tens and I have five here on the bottom, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine tens. And then there's 100 left. So I put 100. So that's 197, which is letter C. Okay, question number nine. The chart shows five different kinds of donuts at Dunkin' Donuts and the number of each. Which of these are correct about the donuts? Now look at the, look at the first one. It says the number of strawberry donuts, it's 100. So I'm gonna look at the strawberry. And the, the strawberry has this number, right? It says 100. Okay, I do have 100 here. Five tenths, I do have five tenths here. Remember, this is HTO. And then I do have six ones right here. So that means that this is a yes. Okay, so now I'm going to erase the bottom number. I'm, I'm going to still be using the HTO. Now it says the number of glazed donuts. It's 100, four tens, and four, and four ones. 100, 
104 tens and, and zero ones. That's the glazed donut, glazed. So I go to the glazed and I go HTO and I have 100, that's correct, but I have zero tens and this one has, has four tens. So I know that this one is not correct. Then the next one is sugar, sugar donuts. Let me erase the number. The sugar donut has zero hundreds, that's zero hundreds, eight tenths. That's an ugly eight. <laughs> eight tenths, and then uh, four ones. Now, when there's this, uh, when there's nothing in front of, uh, like a number eight and there's a zero, uh, basically zero means that it doesn't exist. When it's not in between, when it's not in between. Now, because it's before and there's nothing else before. There's no number that the the zero is between two numbers. That's when we are, are able to erase because that would be, even if we had a zero here, it's still 84. So the sugar, it says 84. And if you look at here, that's 84. So that's the same number. So we say, yes, this is correct. Okay, so now the next the next one says the number of apple fritters donuts. Okay, it has six hundreds, zero tenths, and nine ones. That's the apple fritter. So I go to the apple fritter and guess what? I don't even have hundreds. That's sixty nine. So that's definitely a no. Okay, so I'm looking now at the last choice. It says the number of chocolate donuts is 100. So let me write 100. 110 and six ones. So that's 116 for the chocolate. So I go to the chalk. Oh, I misspelled chocolate. I go to the chocolate and it's 116. That's correct. So that would be correct. Okay. So let's go to the last question. Number 10. Samantha uses the blocks below to show the number. Now, look at this one. This means that's 100. See how it has one box? This one is another 100. <laughs> And this one means another hundred. So I have three hundreds. And then I have one, two, three, four tenths. On under the T, it's four tenths. And then I have one, two, three, four, five ones. So this is the number that I'm looking for. So let's look at this one. It says four hundredths. Well, I already know that I need to have three hundreds because that's what the picture shows. So I already know. I don't even have to look at the, the rest. I can say no. Then I go to uh, the next one, H, T, O, right? There's four hundreds on the H. Well, I need to have three hundreds. So I already know this one is a bad choice. Then I go to uh, the letter C. It says three hundreds. Well, I do have three hundreds. Forty. Well, four tenths is the same as forty. That's good. Five ones. That's the same as five, five ones. So this one is it's a yes. It's correct. Then three hundred forty-five. The same as what it looks mine like mine. So it's correct. Then I look at the last one. Three hundreds. That's three hundreds. Four tens, that's four tens. Five ones, that's five ones. So that is correct. That's a yes. And that's the end of the review. I hope you like it.